In addition to being a full-time writer, I'm also a wildlife photographer, and what I learned through watching waterfowl greatly surpasses anything I can read about or watch on TV. I'm Scott Haugen, and I also have a master's degree specializing in education and the sciences, specifically animal behavior, so I'm a big fan of learning in the field. The events, sights, sounds, and behaviors that unfold when watching waterfowl provide an unmatched educational opportunity. If serious about taking your duck and goose hunting skills to the next level, visit wetlands, wildlife areas, or refuge near where you hunt and closely study waterfowl behavior. When observing bird behavior, know where different waterfowl species are hanging out. Ask yourself why they're where they're at and why the birds are doing what they're doing. Then evaluate whether or not you can replicate the scenarios in your decoy spread based on such factors as time of day, wind direction, some position, and more. Waterfowl gather in specific areas for a reason, and assembling your decoy spread according to how birds are acting throughout the season can pay off. For instance, pintail courtships kicks off mid-season in some places I hunt, and I've had good success over the years with drake decoys put on a jerk cord system, like what you'd see when these birds are courting or moving on the water. Also, study the relationships you observe among other birds, like widgeon gathering food near feeding honkers or swans, or teal sitting alone or mingling with mallards, or shovelers moving freely among multiple mixed species of birds as they sift the surface for food. Divers and puddle ducks might also commingle. The past two seasons, we've had more lesser scop in a valley I hunt than I've ever seen, and they continually land in ponds I'd never observed before. Adding a half dozen high visibility Drake bluebell decoys to the edge of our spread not only pulled in scop, but I feel caught the eye of distant puddle ducks thanks to the added black and white contrast of the decoys. Canada goose and swan decoys provide confidence for ducks as well, and other bird species might do the same. Watch closely how waterfowl gather around all birds, not just those of the same species. Coots are another attractant option. Watch how flocks of coots get in a tight wad, head to shore, and graze or preen, and how quickly they simultaneously respond to a raptor swooping in. Ducks notice this behavior and often congregate near flocks of coots for safety. Making your own silhouette coot decoys or painting some old floating duck decoys is simple, and the contrasting black tone is a great addition to many spreads. This season, make it a point to visit wetlands near where you hunt, and don't just watch the waterfowl, but closely study their behavior. Analyze how behaviors shift throughout the day, season, even how they vary from place to place, then arrange your decoy spread accordingly. By paying very close attention to what's happening in nature, you'll be able to more closely replicate these scenarios in your calling and decoy setups, whereby boosting your hunting success. Have fun out there.